Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna be taking a look at how to modify and change our cursor and selection settings within AutoCAD. This is a question I've gotten often and I see it comes up quite a bit. Uh, so we're gonna go over a handful of the options available to customize your cursor, whether it's the size, kind of the look and style of it, and how it's going to react and interact with snapping objects as well as uh, vertexes of lines and polylines. If you guys like this video or any of the videos on the channel, please don't forget to subscribe down below and hit that like button. It helps the videos rank as well. It keeps me motivated to continue producing new video and content for everybody here. Uh, I hope you guys like this week's video. Let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, so as you can see on my screen here, uh, my cursor is modified a little bit from what comes stock probably on your AutoCAD software. Uh, and today we're gonna take a look at a few of the main options for customizing and tweaking your cursor to kind of fit your drafting style and what you'd like to see. Uh, I know in my case, I like a smaller cursor, kind of allows me to focus in on where I'm working and keeps the distraction uh, minimal around where I'm drawing. But I know many of you would like larger cursor settings uh, or to change the kind of look of the box that it has, uh, as well as some of the other settings. So we're gonna look at that today. To start, you're gonna wanna type in options or you can right click and choose options from the bottom of your menu. The options menu here or dialog box is gonna bring up a handful of options for us. The first settings you're gonna to wanna to change or modify are under the selection tab over here on the right upper side of the dialog box. And that is the pick box size. Now that is the square in the center of the crosshairs. You can enlarge or shrink this by simply sliding this bar here to the left or right. Now you can see what happens here if we scale this up quite a bit and hit apply and okay. You can see now the center of my cursor is quite a bit larger. Now some will enjoy this uh, as it gives you a little bit better view of what you're hovering over. Uh, I Again, I tend to like this on the smaller side, but that's totally up to you. Now if we go back to the options menu again, another option that you've got to uh, scale and and choose is under the display tab here, and that is the crosshair size. Now these are the actual cursor or the crosshair that you're looking at. And again, you can scale this up by dragging the bar to the right here and hitting apply and okay. And you can see now we've got a cursor that is much larger. Now I know many prefer this, especially if you're doing specific types of drafting, maybe isometric. This can give you a bit of an easier way to see the lines that you're drawing along. Uh, I can see the benefits of having it larger and smaller. So again, you can crank this all the way up to 100 if you'd like it to just always go all the way across your drawing. Now this can be helpful and I know many prefer it. So I definitely recommend trying out a few of these options before you settle on one. Customizing your AutoCAD software is one of the first steps to being more productive when drawing. Uh, and these are a lot of easy little changes that you can make that can make a big difference over the long run of a drafting career. All right, so next up, we're gonna go back to the options menu here, and we're gonna jump around a little bit again. We're gonna go back to the drafting uh, tab up here on the top and work with our aperture size. Now this is an invisible uh, kind of box that goes around the center of your cursor. And this is what triggers the snap uh, when you're snapping to objects. So the larger you make this box, the further away from the actual point you're trying to snap to, your cursor can be. Now this can be confusing uh, in some cases, so we're gonna try this out. I'm gonna crank this all the way up here, and we're gonna hit okay. So it didn't actually change the cursor since this is an invisible kind of selection box, but when you type in PL and hit enter, you can see that it's going to snap a little bit further away than we may be used to. So it's starting to snap a little bit further away from the drawing uh, vertex here. 
Now if we go back to our options menu here and turn this all the way down, let's make it pretty small. When we use that same command, it's not going to snap. You can see it pretty close now and it's not snapping to that point. We want to zoom in and get right on top of that point and now it snaps to it. So this is a personal preference thing, but if you're dealing with a lot of line work and really tight constrained spaces uh, and you want to snap specifically, turning this aperture setting down will definitely make your life easier. Alternatively, if you have a pretty light drawing, not a lot of line work and you want to move quickly, uh, turning this up is going to allow you to snap to objects quickly from a further distance away of the cursor. So we're going to go back into options. I'm going to adjust that back up to kind of in the middle where I like it. And then we're going to also change one more setting here, and that's the grip size. So under selection over here, you can turn up or down the size of the blue grips that show up when you select an object. Now, if you have a hard time picking these out, turning these up in size or to the right is going to make them much larger and easy to see even when zoomed out. Now that may be excessive, but again, if you're working at large scale with a bunch of lines, maybe this is helpful for you. Uh, I tend to like mine pretty small, uh, the default or even smaller, since I have a lot of objects and I'd like to be able to tell them apart. So you can see now I've adjusted that back down. Now, lastly, I want to show you guys how you can modify that color of your uh, crosshairs and that's going to be under the display tab here and colors from here you can choose model space and then crosshairs and you can see mine is that cyan color but if you prefer to keep it white or magenta or choose a custom color by hitting select color any color you choose here is going to be carried through to the drawing so if we just kind of pick a random color here a bright green apply close and hit okay you can see now our cursor is green and the settings that we've just set are in effect now these settings are going to stick with your autocad they are tied to your profile uh, so you can close the drawing open a new drawing and your settings are going to continue showing up uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video that's all for today if you did like it and you want to learn more about autocad uh, I've got an AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course that's available for instant download now. You can get that by hitting the link up above right now or down in the description. It's discounted for viewers and subscribers like you by using those links. That's all for today. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See ya. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.